Hey everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. And today, guys, I got a rocking video for you. Rocking? I don't think that's the right word. But let's move along. So today, guys, I wanted to talk about what I hope that Fortnite or Epic Games will add into their game Fortnite once the full release comes out this year. Um, I've I've asked my friends this a couple times now, and they might know about it if they're watching this. But I have some ideas of what I'd like to see, and I have a prediction for possible endgame. I'm not going to call it a theory, but I would like to call it a slight prediction. My buddy Joe won't do one of these videos because he feels like it's still there's so much left in the game. Um, so here in a second, I will be showing you guys a clip, the editing in a clip of the overworld overview of the world. So just so you guys know before we get into that clip, that there's a total of, uh, from what I remember, there's a total of eight sections on the map. There's the four we have now, which I will cover in the video, in that clip that I recorded, talking about the map and the uh, story, how the story progresses. And then there's supposed to be four more added in. So the game's only, the story's only half completed. So yeah, I will get, I'll add, um, you're about to see that clip now, and then we'll talk about the rest of my thoughts after that. All right, I'll see you in a second. Alrighty, so here we are on the overview of the map. As you guys know, I was prior previously talking about what I would like to see in Save the World in that, um, in during the gameplay. So this is what I mean. So if you look here on this world, currently we have two locations open to us because that's how far I am in the game, and two other locations we have: Canyon Valley and. Twin Peak Mountains, which it goes Stonewood, Plinkerton, I believe Canyon Valleys, and Twin Peaks. So, yeah, that's sort of what we have going on for us now. Um, and you level up things as you go. Um, you probably already know a lot of this, but if you don't, so you get a map for each one all the way back if I trudge through the prior pages I've completed. We get Stonewood. And the story is very linear. So I'm going to go back to my main points now, and I'll see you over there. Alrighty, so as you guys saw, there was those four locations on the overworld map. And that was a bit cringy, I would, I would say, I guess, because, um, well, I forgot that I, I recorded that before this actual video. Or the audio for this video, and I'm sorry about that. Um, Alright, so moving along with... Uh, my wants. So my first want is, if you guys don't know, uh, Fortnite Save the World in general has been in production since 2011. That's over seven years ago. The game has been in production for seven years. And originally, this game was meant to be sort of like a Rust survival game. It was introduced to us as, you know, here's our character and she will have to gather resources to survive night one. There was abandoned buildings and stuff and you had to build your house to survive. So I'm hoping that maybe once the full release of the game comes out, they'll add in a Rust game mode where you and your friends can join up, team up, and play like this Rust sort of game where it's not this complete mission path over and over again, but instead you get, oh, well, here's night one. You all have to gather resources, build up, build a house, and survive the night. That's what I'm hoping. It doesn't have to go into a full Rust game mode, but we already have the traps and stuff for it. So it'd be kind of cool that if they add that in as a separate game mode. Um, I, I just think it was kind of cool. And that, if you heard that, that was my phone going off. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I thought that was kind of cool that that was what it was originally meant to be. And that this game's gone through so many evolutions to get to this point. And don't get me wrong. I love, I absolutely love the fact that this game is what it is today. I'm just, to me, I'm kinda tired of these linear story missions. Oh, go do X amount of these so many times. It's it's really repetitive. So I'm hoping that they'll add in, like maybe I would even be willing to buy it because once Save the World is fully completed and goes live, it will be free for everyone. And that means they won't have any way to make any more money. So currently, me my, and my friends, most of my friends that own the game, are founders. We uh, support the game by buying it now. 
so we can play it now instead of waiting, which I find it worth it. I mean, if you look at some of my guns, I wouldn't have these if I waited. So that's sort of like the big thing I want in game change play. Um, it'd sort of be cool with like a horde survival mode, like uh, the events were back during the winter, where you had to survive X amount of days, but instead give us a really cool like level progression where we have to make it to one end of the level fighting off the hordes with with blueprints we find. There's a lot you can do. Like this could also be done on the rest mode where you get basic blueprints, and as you progress throughout the story, you or throughout the game you get new blueprints to make guns and that still leaves in the harvesting aspect um what else so that's sort of one game mode and if you guys have any you would like to see or you would like to have fortnite to implement in the game let me know down in the comments below if i find one i really like i will cover it i have a new video series coming out it's called exploring that comment or something like that something super stupid or tackling that question I think will be the title but yeah so that was sort of my um thought I would really like there to be some sort of rust game mode in this like it was supposed to be because it would just add on to the survival of this game I would be willing to pay for it as a DLC content and which brings me to my next point so as you guys may or may not know Fortnite Save the World is very much a sort of event based game and all the events currently in the game are free which i know a lot of people really like so like the valentine's day event and everything we have is free right now you just gotta the only thing that you really spend for after you pop buy the save the world game is the v bucks which will be fortnite's only revenue of income for um this game at the time which i don't know how epics plans to handle that they've made a snap financial amount of money already from it but um i wanted to talk about dlc really quickly so i really hope that they do implement free dlc and paid dlc now, i understand that some of you might not like it but a thing they could do is they could implement their paid dlc and you can buy it with v bucks that would be a really cool thing but why do I want it like this? Well, I think DLC 1, not all DLC should be paid for. Some certain like core event DLC, so like certain holiday DLC shouldn't be paid for. But maybe add on special events to it that give you really good loot could be. And I, I'm pretty sure there will be paid DLC. But I don't have too much to say on that. And then the last part. So I want to spend about two minutes here exploring what i think might be the ending so if you guys have played save the world then you'll know there's a vault door or the door to the mountain now originally that we we come to understand that is supposed to be the door you enter to meet your main character ray and everything and throughout the pro prologue but I have come to the theory that that is not true because where you enter the vault door is closer to the observatory and when you look at the Stonewood map, or not the map, but physically when you're in Stonewood, like if you go to my video flitting through the observatory, the observatory is a pasted on background. Meaning that it's not real, but our character enters basically right on top of the observatory. So the vault door that we're protecting isn't actually the vault door and there was a comment i don't know if i'll have a clip in it i might try to find it but i'm not gonna promise anything but there's a clip with in a certain mission with with the scene i bought where you have to do something with him rescue him or whatever and he makes a comment after have seen into the rift or not the rift but the uh, void or whatever you want to call it the anomaly that sort of infesters every month map from there forward um that the leviathan isn't happy the leviathan is mad and we are all doomed and ray sort of plays it off as it's nothing now me i personally think ray is the actual villain in this story she has somehow unleashed the cure and all we're doing is helping her again this is sort of just my thoughts of what the story might actually end up being or you can call it a theory if you want to call it that a lot of people i don't think a lot of people have really theorized of what the save the world's ending story will be but it could very well be that and honestly i want you guys to tell me what you think down in the comments below those are my two biggest things i think a leviathan will attack as some sort of a massive husk 
will be the end boss. It will be this big epic fight between it with Ray and us and that. We already saw our pops can be evil in the uh, Save the World game. So, why can't Ray? And guys, that will do it for now. Remember, like and subscribe if you're new. And guys, go check out my giveaways. They're ending soon. They're on my channel. And guys, I'll see you all later. Peace.